Inia was a little girl with big brown eyes. She lived with her parents in a beautiful coconut grove next to a small blue lake. She helped her parents by the lake, went to school and then spent time with them only to wake up the next day. Each day she balanced a big empty basket on her head as she walked down the lake. Her mother washed the clothes on a stone near to the lake while her father went fishing. He dragged the net to the shore and they collected the fish in a big basket. Sometimes a turtle got stuck in the net. But Inia always hurried to save it. One sunny morning. Appa, if we catch so many fish, what if one day there is no fish left? Under the shade of the trees, Inia's mother fell into an uneasy sleep. She dreamt of a lake with no fish. In her dream, every day the father returned from the lake with no fish. and the family could not support itself the wind then said the water and the land have always taken care of your family so you have to take care of them in return she woke up with tears in her eyes she didn't know how to bring up inia without selling and a fish All afternoon she sat weaving coconut mats and thinking about her dream The water and the, the land water have and the always land taken, have care, always of taken care of your family so you have to take care of them in return That night Inia heard her parents whisper as the oil flame burned deep into the night the next morning her father gave her a smaller basket how can we carry all the fish in this little basket We will only take as many fish they will fit inside this basket. How will this be enough for us? When she came back from school, she was happy to find her mother making soap on oil from the coconuts. Inia swiftly climbed up a tree to get more coconuts but her mother said Don't pluck them we must only use what the tree gives us We have taken only fallen coconuts for making these things Look we have even made the soap with a jasmine flower inside Inia learned a lot about gardening and arts at school. When Inia grew older, she made coconut fiber packs that could be used to pot plants. She also loved to carve coconut. She made many toys and idols with fallen coconuts. Her favorite 
was to carve tiny turtles out of coconut shells. She always wore one around her neck.